Hey CHA family, it's Miss Snyder. Today I am bringing our SEL lesson um, to YouTube. We will be talking about the brain and then we will also be building or creating a calm down jar. So first for this lesson, I want you to go ahead and put your hand up like this. Then I want you to fold your thumb in and bring your four fingers down. You have just made a model of your brain. Now, if you see on the front part of our brain, this is called the prefrontal cortex. This part of our brain is what helps us reason, learn, and make smart choices. If you flip your lid, you'll see the thumb or the amygdala. This part of our brain is where all of our strong feelings are stored. It is the flight or fight response to the brain, and it's really important. But when we're at school or we're at home trying to learn, it's important that our lid is not flipped because we don't need that fight or flight response. Now, sometimes this part of our brain, the amygdala, can take over. And that's when we're probably not making the best choices. And during that time, we need to remember the calm down steps. So if you look at our brain, and we're going to pretend that our amygdala has taken over. It is out of control and we are not using this part of our brain. So we first need to stop and then we need to name our feeling and then we need to calm down. There are many ways to calm down. For this uh, example, I'm going to just show you the deep breathing technique. When we breathe in and breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out. Now, the prefrontal cortex of our brain is back in control. We're in our upstairs brain and we are ready to learn. Another way to calm down with deep breathing is using a calm down jar. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make one of those jars. So these are the materials that you're gonna need to make it. You'll first need one cup of warm water, Elmer's Clear Liquid Glue. This is a nine fluid ounce bottle. You will also need a whisk, glitter of your choosing, any color works. I've also has, have some star glitter, and then a large bowl, a funnel, and a food gel or food coloring. So first what you're going to do is you are going to open up your bottle of glue and you are gonna dump it in your bowl. You're gonna dump all of that glue. It may make silly noises as you dump it out. You're gonna dump all of it out. Make sure that you get every last drop. All right, so after you have put the glue in your bowl, you are going to take your cup of warm water. As you pour the warm water into the glue, you're going to stir. This is gonna help it get mixed. You're gonna use the whisk and stir. All right. Next comes the fun part. You're gonna take whatever food coloring you choose and the glitter and you're gonna add that to the water and the glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my food coloring and I'm just gonna put a few drops in. The food coloring I'm using right now is a gel, but you can also uh, use liquid, whatever you have on hand at home. All right, I chose a pink color. After you have all of the food coloring mixed in, you are going to add your glitter. So I'm going to go ahead, I chose purple. Many of my students know that is my favorite color. You can add as much glitter as you want. This is your calm down jar. You can add as much as you want. So I'm gonna add that loose glitter and then I also have some fun stars that I'm adding in. 
Again, you just want to continue mixing until you have the look that you want. After you mix and all of your ingredients are in your bowl, you will use your funnel and you can um, empty the bowl into any type of water bottle that you choose. I like to choose the tall Voss bottles. They have those in glass and also plastic. You can also just use a regular old jar, pickle jar, or um, any type of plastic water bottle. So I made a calm down jar earlier, so I'll show you the finished product. This is a galaxy jar that I made, as you can see, it has some star glitter in it and it's really fun. So as I'm using this, I would look at my glitter and I would practice my deep breathing. Also make sure after you put all of your liquid into the jar, it's best to take a hot glue gun and have your grown up help you glue the lid on. That's gonna keep it safe and secure. Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's lesson. Um, have a beautiful afternoon and a great day of learning at home. Bye.